So I'm really excited about this bag. I got it a couple of days ago and it's the Thule in route camera backpack in their 25 liter version. And this is in the black color. I think it also comes in like a forest green. And then there's a 20 liter version that has some different features. And, you know, I bought it thinking it would be kind of like a backup camera bag if I just wanted to bring maybe a small camera and a couple of lenses with me. And as I was, as I was researching the purchase, you know, there was no YouTube videos and there was only a couple of reviews that weren't very detailed about the bag itself. I think it maybe came out sometime this summer. But, uh, you know, when I got the bag in, it ended up, being much, much better than I expected. I, I think it's gonna be a great everyday carry bag. Now I cycle through everyday carry backpacks pretty regularly because I commute by train and then I walk about a mile and a half to my office. So, you know, it's really important that I have all of my essentials with me in case this train's delayed or in case I get caught in a rainstorm. So kind of, you know, I, I put a lot of thought into my everyday carry setup. So, you know, the first feature um, that really stands out on this bag is this little side access uh, that gives you a uh, protected little camera cube. And I was able to fit uh, my a7 III with like a 16 to 35 in here. Although I, putting that camera in, you probably wouldn't be able to fit many other lenses unless it was really a small lens. This whole camera cube can actually be removed. You can see there's some Velcro here and this gets pulled out and then the whole camera cube comes out and you can kind of reclaim this internal space if you just want to use the bag uh, to maybe carry more stuff and not have a camera along with you. You know, the next most obvious feature is it's got this kind of roll top. Um, and, and normally, you know, I'm not a big fan of roll tops. I, I don't like how it gets all curled up and then it kind of makes the thing look boxy. And then they also seem like they'd be really inconvenient. You know, you have to unroll this thing every time you want to get in and out of the bag. Well, this bag, I think, solves that in two ways. One, I kind of like the look of it because it rolls away and then clips down. So it maintains this nice slope. Um, the profile of the bag still looks nice. There isn't this like bunched up roll on top. It, it doesn't look uh, boxy or squared off. And then as far as ease of access, there's these little side pockets, which give you access to the main compartment of the bag on this side or on the other side. So you can still get, you know, maybe a pair of headphones or a light jacket without having to actually unroll the top. So, you know, ease of access, it's like super convenient. But if for some reason you have like a bigger jacket on you, then you can take advantage of the roll top to give you some extra space. So we'll go ahead and unroll that and maybe stuff like a, like a big sweatshirt in here on top. And now instead of rolling it three times, maybe just roll it once and then uh, extend these clips out a little bit. You can kind of get some compression. And now that little roll top actually extended, you know, the amount of storage you can put in here. All right, the next feature that I want to take a look at that, that really impressed me is in the top here, there's sort of like a front access pocket um, with these nice high uh, pockets right where you can, you know, get access to your keys or just keep something right there. And then it's actually deep enough that you can put like a sunglasses um, case in here. And then, you know, if you need to zip up maybe some valuables that you don't want falling out, wallet or like some credit card or something like that, there's space for them there. Um, and, you know, this was a pocket I didn't even know existed when I was buying the bag. And this is exactly the kind of pocket I need. I, I want quick access to like sunglasses, keys, uh, you know, my badge to get in and out of the doors at work. I want that stuff right up here in the front of the bag where I can easily access those items. All right, the next feature I want to talk about is this side. Um, it's intended to like hold a tripod here on the side and then you have this clip so you can secure it down. So if you have like a small travel tripod, I've got this Manfrotto Be Free. Um, you can slide that in, go ahead and clip it into place up top. And you can see that that's now, you know, nice and stable. You could definitely hike with that and it moves around a little bit, but I think it's gonna stay put. But what really excites me about that pocket as an everyday carry, I'm not carrying a tripod with me when I walk to work every day, but I do carry a water bottle or a, sometimes a coffee mug. And you can use that to carry your water bottle or your coffee mug. All right, so the last feature that I wanna talk about that wasn't obvious from the marketing materials uh, is inside the back here in the laptop compartment, you've got your laptop sleeve and then you've got your tablet sleeve. And then there's these two extra pockets here. You could put like a charger or maybe like your charging cable or something like that. But just again, having these pockets high up near the zips is really nice. Like I hate when you have to dig way down in a bag to get something. I wanna keep all like my smaller items up here where they're really easily accessible. 
So as I mentioned, I think I'm gonna be switching my daily carry over to the Thule. And when I'm watching a bag review, and I watch a lot of bag reviews on YouTube, uh, I, I really like seeing how people actually pack out their bag. All right, so let's get into it. This is what I've been carrying for the last three months or so. It's the Air Flight Pack 2. Uh, what I like about it, it has this really slim profile. It has like a water bottle, water bottle holder so I can keep like a coffee tumbler. But you know, I've just enjoyed this bag because it, it meets my everyday carry needs. And let me show you how I have it packed out. You know, right up front it has these nice like AquaGuard YKK zips and inside this front pocket it's where I keep my um, Sony uh, noise canceling headphones. These are really important to have on you because you never know when you're on the train and some people will sit down behind you and start having like a loud conversation. It's nice to be able to just pop these on. So that's the only thing I keep in this pocket. Um, up top in this front pocket I keep my uh, badge to get in and out of the office at work and then um, my car keys. And that's pretty much all that I keep here, but I, I love that there's these pockets right high like this so I can get easy access to those things because I'm always you know, taking them out, putting them in my pocket, or putting them back in here to make sure I have them in my bag. And then the last thing I have in here in this top zip, it's actually another Thule product. I got this about six months ago. It's the Thule Subterra Paddle Sh Power Shuttle Carrying Case. This is the dark shadow color, and this is the mini size. What I really like about this is you can see how thin it is, almost like about the size of my hand, and I've got like my laptop charger and my charging cables, AirPods, uh, dongles, adapters, some extra credit cards, all kinds of stuff. Basically, you know, everything that I would need to make sure that I still have power. There's a little battery in here. Um, and internet if you know the train gets delayed three hours. So I might do a whole video reviewing you know this setup and comparing it with some of the other setups that I used in the past so make sure that you subscribe if you're interested in checking that out. All right so that's it for this front pocket. If we move to this top pocket and I really like this it's it's got just enough room to fit uh, my sunglasses uh, you know when you're getting off the train you want to make sure you get those sunglasses on and then you can just tuck them away in this top access pocket. I think these are Maui Jim Red Sands. Um, like these sunglasses a lot. They really good, like optical quality, very light. I can run in them, I can bike in them, or they're good for just kind of everyday walking to work kind of stuff. And that's it for that top access pocket. The next uh, compartment is this sort of main compartment here. Uh, I just keep like a light jacket. Um, and then I've got this camera cube. So if I want to, you know, put like my Canon M6 Mark II and maybe a couple lenses, I can fit that down in there. Um, I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description. This is, this one's made by like Ape Case. It was like, I don't know, 20 bucks on Amazon. All right, so the last thing I have in here in this main compartment, just a MacBook Pro issued by my work. Got to have this with me at all times. So no matter where I am, I can log on. I can do a little bit of work. And then the last thing is just this coffee tumbler made by Clean Canteen. I love uh, this side zip here that you know you can fit water bottles, coffee tumblers in. So that's everything that I carry on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and pack up the Thule um, with this sort of everyday carry stuff and see how it all fits. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pack away the MacBook Pro into this sort of uh, you know laptop sleeve here in the back. Go ahead and slide that in, no problem. Then let's flip it over and get into this side access to the main compartment. And that's what I think where we're gonna put the Sony noise canceling headphones. Slip those right in there. And then let's get the light jacket um, in right behind that. Now, of course you could open the roll top, um, but I don't think we need to open the roll top uh, just to get that light jacket in. If we had like a bigger jacket or a sweatshirt, then you could open that roll top and get some extra space. So we'll go ahead and zip that shut. We're done with the main compartment. In this sort of front compartment here, that's where we'll put our uh, sunglasses, pack away the car key right there, and pack away the getting into work badge right there. Zip that up. Next, let's take care of this coffee tumbler. We'll go ahead and put that on the side here like that. So you can see that's all packed away nice. Now, what about this little accessory carrying case? I think right here behind the camera cube, um, there's like a perfect little slot. We could just drop that in like that. That zips up no problem. Now for the actual camera and lenses. We'll take this ape case uh, out. We don't need that anymore because we actually have this dedicated camera cube compartment open. We'll put our 32 millimeter prime down in there first. Put it on its side. We'll add a little bit of extra padding 
like this so we can get two lenses laying in there without them rubbing against each other. We'll add the 11 to 22 on top of that, fold it over. I already have a battery and the battery charger for the M6 Mark II in there. And then we'll go ahead and take the 18 to 150 attached to the M6 Mark II, drop that in the top, zip it all up. And there you go, fully packed out, ready to go. Um, I'm definitely gonna be taking this to work. It's Sunday night right now, so tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be hauling this on my 1.5 mile walk to work, having it on the train, and we'll kind of see how it works out. But let's go ahead and try it on. Fully packed out, see how it feels. The straps are nice. Ugh. Oh, one other feature that I forgot to mention, it has this sternum strap that's actually adjustable on these little cords. So you can slide them up and down, but they're not removable, which is interesting. But I actually kind of like that because then you don't have to worry about them falling off. I feel like every other backpack that I have that has a sternum strap, I find that I end up taking it off because I'm worried about it just falling off and then I never use it because it's just always off in like a pocket or something like that. But this feels really nice. The, the back, you know, is ventilated. Um, I'm about six feet, 200 pounds, so you can kind of get a sense for how big it is packed out. A little bit thicker of a profile than um, the Air Flight Pack 2. But yeah, I'm excited. And my favorite thing, if I, you know, I'm out and I see a picture I wanna get, something that interests me, or like sometimes there's some pretty skies, like in the morning when you're walking to work, or maybe a sunset in the evening, just pop this guy out, snap your picture, put it back in, continue on your walk. So that's kind of the, the main selling point why I ended up getting the bag. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Now there's finally a review of this bag on YouTube. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.